Residents of a Mordialic apartment block have been forced to vacate after it was deemed unlivable due to defects, including combustible cladding. The Shadow Housing Minister says the public needs to be made aware of buildings that pose serious safety risks. Alexandra Keefe reports. Residents of a Mordialic apartment block leave one by one, forced to find other accommodation after the Victorian Building Authority deemed the site unsafe due to its combustible cladding and water damage. Like this, it's really scary um, to think that it could be up in flames in just minutes and how people's lives can change. It's where it's, our heart goes out to everybody. The VBA issued a 48-hour notice to residents last night instructing them to find new accommodation by the end of the weekend. It follows an assessment as part of the statewide cladding audit. They could not put in place sufficient measures to ensure that the event of a fire, uh, we could get the residents out safely. The organisation was aware of some of the building's defects over the past few years causing the Shadow Housing Minister to express his concern. An evacuation order in 21st century Melbourne because the building's so dangerous that residents cannot possibly be allowed to live there. The BBA has acknowledged the distress the decision may cause residents but maintains safety is the priority. The Shadow Housing Minister is now calling for harsher penalties for dodgy operators. He also wants to see more transparency so there's public awareness of buildings that are unfit for occupancy. Where are they? How many buildings are at the very highest end of danger because of cladding? We know that there are about 800 but we don't know where. The VBA will meet with the Buildings Owners Corporation next week to discuss whether the defects can be rectified. Alexandra Keefe, Nine News.